Traders right around the world, thank you so much for joining me on this weekend edition market update. What I'll do, I'll have a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P, and also the NASDAQ as we begin and transition into trading, which is going to start on Tuesday this week. It is a memorial holiday. It is a long weekend for people in the United States, so it is a shortcut four-day trading week, so please pay attention to that fact. Now, what we have here is a daily chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. As you can see, it appears that we are in some form of an ascending triangle. You can see the lows or the higher lows being established throughout the month of January, February, uh, April, most recently number two, and in the month of May, which we are right now. You can see we started to get a little bit of a breakdown two weeks ago, but for the most part, for the better part of three weeks, we've just been hanging out here at this resistance of around 16,600, 16,610. We're in some form of a little bit of a pressure cooker. Volatility is extremely low in the market and when we get a clear directional break either below 16,275 or above 16,760 if I just put this into perspective we expect the market to either begin trending higher as you can see making a series of higher highs and higher lows which is going to take us probably throughout the onset of 2014 or if we get that bearish directional close below 16,275 we have targets down here about eight or, or established in April around 16,000 and also again hit again 16,000 in the month of March if we break below the support level here, we've got entries at 16,004 all the way down to these support levels as you can see on my screen. So we're remaining very neutral in the Dow Jones until we get a close and a confirmation above uh, each or below one of these triggers. It doesn't matter which one it is. We are remaining neutral. We can go through some steps to trade confirmation. The exponentials and the symbols are completely sideways, telling us that we are not in a trending market. Our oscillators are very neutral. You can see that the stochastics has come down into the neutral. Same with the RSI and the MACD is shooting off a little bit of bearish divergence, uh, which is a little bit worrying for the overall market. When we see these divergent signals, it's telling us to be a little bit cautious trading in the direction of the bullish trend. One thing we can always look at is the ADX and the CCI. Yes, they are quite nice. The ADX has reset. It did turn up a little bit on this bearish move. It was quickly turned down, however. Now we're back down on the signal line, very neutral, and the CCI is telling us that the market is very, very healthy. We're at this resistance level, but there is some sustained buying pressure still in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So be very interesting to see how this market plays out. It's exactly the same, more or less, with the S&P. We have been in a very sideways market for the better part of February and March 2014, really for the most part of three months, really, and we're at that point where we are uh, almost about to break out above 1,906. If we get another rejection, another evening star reversal candlestick pattern, then you can almost guarantee that this 1,865 trigger will almost trigger at least in the next two weeks, setting us up for lower lows in the overall market. So very neutral in Dow Jones, the S&P. The NASDAQ has broken slightly bullish. Now we're remaining a little bit skeptical on this market until we get a close above this Fibonacci retracement box. We've spoken about this in our Pivot Point Pro class over the weekend, and it's um, assumed to be in effect until it's, of course, broken down. It's given us those signals that it has reversed. So we were setting up those lower highs and also lower lows. We were getting into a textbook bearish, a uh, little bit of an intermediate move in the market. We had this bearish trigger down here at 3,942. That, in fact, hasn't triggered, which is all well and good. You can see the bullish trigger up here. Other than that, we're remaining neutral. We expect a little bit of volatility in the NASDAQ overall until we shake out um, and we come to some form of a, of a directional conclusion as to which direction, obviously, the three U.S. indices want to move. We want to see all of them move in conjunction with, another, with one another. And that is something that we will be tracking here at Pivot Point Trading. So please subscribe. Have a look at our website if you are interested in learning how to do this for yourself. Um, and it'd be great to hear from you. If you have any queries, email me. We can uh, schedule a personal phone call as well if you are a student or someone who is out there in the market wanting to learn how to do technical analysis for yourself. All the best, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great trading week. Goodbye.